Hello guys, Bricklick here and welcome to the live stream. Today we're going to be talking all things LEGO Marvel Summer 2021 sets. We have loads of info, loads of brand new stuff, it's going to be good. But I'm not going to be joining on my own today of course, I will have someone else giving their inputs, what they think of the sets. It's, uh, you know, it's good of course. Hello, I, I Hello. love my, my favourite theme, it's great. My favourite theme great. is Marvel, so yeah, yeah, let's see. Who we got in the chat quite a lot of you so thank you to everyone watching if you do enjoy the stream please like the stream subscribe we're close to 7k as well so yeah it's gonna be good we have the spoof channel we have andrew larson we have carter studios jude taylor cb bricks cav bricks anthony's world finno sullivan x studios 3000 lego madness lego lad studios toby bro from another brick z bricks is going too quick bing bong productions Beltonic Breaks. Hello to all of you. There's too many of you to say hello individually, but thanks for joining me on the stream. So yeah, let's just get straight into it, shall we? Hello. Let's get straight into it. So yeah, basically all this info is from Promo Bricks. I will link the uh, thing down below. The article is in the description. So yeah, if you need it, then check it out. But yeah, let's get into it. So first up, uh, we have all the info. First off, we have this one, which is the 40454 Spider-Man vs Venom and Iron Venom. Uh, do um, I like this one? That's it's, it's pretty bit... cool. Don't know what's more dangerous in that set: the hot dogs for like you know diabetes, or the <laughs> the people, the pig. Pigs are dangerous. I uh, how much is this? Uh, I think it's thirteen pound fifty. So that's not awful. That's pretty good. That's like a how, how much are cigarettes? <laughs> I thought is you this... said CMF then. CMF oh, for like yeah. three pound fifty. It, how, how much are cigarettes? Hold on, let me find out. Because it, it's a, it's gonna be, a, you know, it's gonna be close cool. Well, you got the, you got the venom ham. I think it's called that. That's like a good figure. And then you got iron, venom iron man. So like, you got two great figures for thirteen pound fifty. Then plus like the two generic ones. I think well, that's pretty good value. You see, according to Google and Tesco's, look, it's the sun.co.uk. A twenty pack of cigarettes is ten pounds eighty pence. So. Kids in chat, you're going to have to decide on what you want to spend your pocket money on, really. You know, do you want to get lung cancer or do you want to buy a Lego set? It's it, you know, it's, it's an age-old question that we will ask each other. <laughs> There's a good question in the chat. Why is the pig eating the hot dog? <laughs> that is a good question. Oh, my God. <laughs> what, are hot dogs, wait, what are hot dogs made out of? Are they made out of pork? I think it depends. <laughs> Everyone's asking the same question. Uh, hello, Captain Rex fan. Uh, Walla Bricks, Tech Productions. How much did you have to pay generic stud? Oh, nothing. I actually paid him. Yeah. <laughs> I do sub for sub. He subs to me on different accounts. Everyone's saying they want the set. Yeah, it's a good set. And I mean, you got the good figures. It's kind of one of them sets which is just good value. But then it's like, so you need to get a threshold for like a promo. Then you'll just throw that in, throw that into the bag. To be fair, the arm printing on Spider Man, though. I like that a lot. I like that it's not just in like one or two more expensive sets like the Darth Vader. They've actually like put it in every set. Yeah, they've done it in like everything, which is good. Mm -hmm. uh, hey, Giraffe Guy Studios, Brick Star Wars Boy, Blitz Bricks, uh, Carl's XD Bricks. Welcome to the stream. So yeah, this is a good first one. So this is the only one which has like been revealed officially. This will be coming out on April 1st, so a few weeks away, yeah. So that is a good set. But yeah, we'll move on to the info, the juicy info. So first off, we have the Shang-Chi sets. I know these have leaked, but we'll pretend like we've not seen them. Um, <laughs> we have oh. 76176 Escape from the Ten Rings. So this is basically, it's kind of a yellow GP kind of car. Then you have two motorcycles with it as well. And that I really like. I think it'll be either $30, yeah, 30 euros. So $30, 25 pound. That is a good set. I like that one. It's a mm -hmm. good set. Like, we've not seen it, obviously. We'll never have seen these, but no, nobody has seen these. If you say you've seen them, then you're gonna get a cease and desist for life from Marvel. They're gonna end your life prematurely <laughs> in Switzerland. So nobody post images of these because it's just not. Yeah, good you'll get a strike. But you, nobody has seen them. That's a fact. Nobody, nobody. You'll, it'll be like Men in Black. They'll get that Zapper thing and just erase your memory if you've seen these sets. <laughs> I just filled it, Latvia. Um, your doom boy welcome to the stream uh yeah so this one's uh, from what we've seen of this one i think i'll get it it seems like it's good with mm. the two vehicles things like that now uh, yeah 
if I had to make an inference, now I don't know what the set looks like, of course, but from images that I may or may not have seen, this set looks pretty good. All things yeah, considered, it, I think it, it's, it's a not nice a bad set. set. For thirty euros, it's pretty good. Two cars and a jeep, but what we'll be going like with our set is seven six one seven seven, the battle at the ancient village. So I presume most of you have seen this set. So it's the one where it's the big dragon-like snake in red and white. That the part usage and the building techniques on this, I love this one. I think I'll get it. Nice display model as well. So yeah. Which one is this? It's is like this, uh... maybe you've seen it. It's like a white and red dragon, and like there's water coming out of the mouth. It's quite good. Uh... It is nice. Uh, just... Hello, Mahan, Sensei, uh, Jacko Boy, GT Animations, Brixo. Buddy's bricks, welcome. So yeah, it's quite a nice set. This is they're like oh. the only ones we've seen. Okay, that's yeah. quite good actually. Yeah, that's not a bad. That's That'll be thirty five pound. So I mean, for five minifigures, probably four hundred parts. That's not bad. Hmm. They've got that's a lot bad. of sets for this random film. Like it's an MCU film, but like loads of sets for a brand new adaptation. It's really weird. Yeah, I don't think they went like expensive for it because if they did, then. Like, they might not sell well. Like they've kind of done with Eternals. They put a lot more into that than this set, which is interesting. Yeah, they exist too. They're Marvel's, coming out in October now. Marvel's going all out, really, aren't they? They are. It's the golden age of Marvel. People will say out. that at the end of the year. Uh, hey, Goofy Bricks and Brian and Antonio. Welcome. And Rodrigo. Yeah, the sets do sound cool. Um, oh, yeah. What's not on this is the poly bag. So the poly bag, I believe it's available April 1st. I presume it'll either be a promo. Or it'll be just kind of a gift with purchase. No, not a gift with purchase. What, where you buy in Target, one of them promos. So that'll be good. Uh, Rodrigo, have you seen the Carnage helmet? Yeah, I did a video on that earlier. Looks, look, have you seen that, Jedi? I, I, I've seen the helmet. I didn't, well, I may have watched your video, I may have not. This is, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's cool. It looks like a um, Power Ranger a bit, to be honest. Oh, it does. Oh, I can't even see that now. <laughs> it um, really does. That kind of tell me looks really good. Do you think it's based off the comics or Venom movie? Uh, I think they're going for the comics off that one more than anything, but it could be off either. Actually, what I'll do is I'll quickly get... For you guys who haven't seen it, I'll quickly get an image up on the screen now. If I, I can do this. I think LEGO Power Rangers would be awesome. It would be so cool to get a theme where there's like four different... like members of a team that all wear different colors that correspond to the way that they act like you could have one that's red that's fiery i think that would be a really unique theme for lego today i think it'd be cool <laughs> so yeah um here's the carnage one i like it i think it looks good i i'm i'm quite pleasantly surprised because like if i'm being honest i didn't really like the star wars ones all that much but it gives me hope for spider-man to be honest yeah, I've heard from people who have seen the Venom one, because there's a Venom coming with the Carnage. It's basically the same, but just black. So yeah, it's basically the same set. I thought what would be better if they did the set, but did it as a two-in-one. So you had you had the Carnage, and then you had Venom, but you paid like £10 extra, then you could do it as a two-in-one. I think that would be cool. That's a, that's a lot of parts, though. This like, is only so 300 much... parts. No, but it's... like if you were to add Venom in it, you'd have to have so many black parts just like waste. Yeah, that's true. That is true. Oh, I don't know. It's better than the Iron Man one. Yeah, oh, I agree yeah, with yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, think yeah. anything could get worse than that. Uh, yeah. But yeah. Um, yeah, that is a good set. The Battle at the Ancient Village. Uh, Mahan says about maybe a WandaVision set. I won't say nothing, but it could be happening. Um, high stop breaks and Indiana Skywalker. Um, do you think those are Prince's stickers? What are you thinking? Which one? Oh, they're... Yeah. Are they... Do they... the other ones have any prints? I'm trying to look at my ones. I uh... think the stickers. I know yeah. I know. definitely the Star Wars one. I'd, I'd say the stickers. There's... Although, do they... they don't normally put stickers on um, like curved pieces, do they? Not well, like those... Well, like... it's a flat piece, but it's just like angled with building techniques. No, but the ones on the eyebrows. Like... I don't know. Oh, yeah, true, yeah. It might maybe be two like, stickers, though, yeah. Yeah, maybe those are prints, and then everything else is stickered. I don't know, but I'd imagine that... I think you can kind of see the lip of the sticker anyway, can't you? Yeah, I think it will be stickers. If I had to guess, I'd say stickers, which is annoying, but... Yeah, mm. it's annoying. But this one will be out... For, if you're in America, you can pre-order this tomorrow from Target. UK is coming out April 1st, and kind of everywhere else in the world will be April 1st. 
That is not a bad one. I will just get the other thing back up. So yeah, I think that's good. I might buy that one if it goes on sale, something like that. So yeah, they are the things. So yeah, Venom. We'll kind of just brush over the Venom helmet. It's basically the Carnage one, kind of inverted. This one though, the 76191 Infinity Gauntlet. Wow. Eight, 18 plus set. It's going to be 590 parts, releasing in June 2021 for 70 euros. I'm excited for this. It's going to be like, it's like a helmet, but an Infinity Gauntlet on a display stand. It's like a boxing glove for children. That's fantastic. <laughs> that, yeah, it's just like a giant glove. I don't think they'll do it so you can fit your hand in, with kind of the scale. Oh. I don't well, think they'll do that. Yeah, they should, because I would put it on and punch me. <laughs> it could be good. It yeah. Could be well. Why do we keep getting that. so many Spider-Man sets? They basically sell with kids, really. Like, especially like the four plus more juniorized ones, they sell really well. So that's probably why they do it. Mm. Yeah. Uh, is there anything you want buy on sale? I mean, if it's a sale, it's it's a good deal. It's a good one. Uh, Antonio wants a set, yeah, and your Doom Boy wants a set, yeah. I mean, it'll just be a good one all around. I'm interested to see it. So. Yeah, it comes with the Infinity Stones as well. So I'm oh, just excited, you know, just excited. Yeah. I've heard, like, like leakers have said, people that have seen it have been like, this is a really good wave. Like, the sets that they've seen are actually really high quality. So I'm hoping that it's going to be good. I'm not going to buy any of them because I have integrity and I have dignity. But, you know, if they're on sale, maybe I might, you know, treat myself. Dude, yeah, I'll wait for a sale. I won't buy full price. Um... Zed bricks, where do you find leaks? These are from promo bricks, but yeah, a lot of places. Um, yeah, the chat is jumping. Anything you want, stay one. If it's, oh, I keep saying that, don't I? I say I'll buy you a day do. one, and yeah. then I'd never do it <laughs> all the time. The Daily Bugle, yeah, guys, I'm gonna buy this day one. Oh. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Infinity Gauntlet will be fire, yes, I agree. Um, <laughs> we'll just go on to this quick. The Venom <laughs> Daily Bulge. Will it be a big fig version of Venom? I believe not, which is a letdown, but who knows? They could do it in the end of the day. Um, Mahan says, I may buy the Infinity Gauntlet. Depends on how much I have to buy after Ninjago got all the Harry Potter sets, most of the Star Wars, and like three Marvel sets. That is, it's going to cost a lot. It's going to be a lot of money. GT Animations has a good um, video idea. Though I think I would get arrested. <laughs> and um, what's it? Is it. Um... <laughs> I, I ha what's, what's it called where you're not allowed to go near somebody? I have that for quite a lot of people uh, where I'm not allowed to go like near schools or anything, uh, which is oh a bit difficult. But yeah, let's move on. <laughs> um, Sif Trooper Battle Packs, yeah, that's work in progress. Oh, yeah, what happened to that? Oh, wait, so what, what, what happened to the Lamborghini? <sighs> you disgust me. You're a liar. You're a fraud and a liar. You call yourself a leaker, but the only thing that you've leaked. Is your true self? I I hate you. With I hate you. Oh, I do. Um, yeah. So here's another picture of the Carnage helmet. This seems better quality than the other one. That looks really nice. But yeah, um, stop, this one. Stop! No, no, no! You're changing the subject. I want my Lambo. Me and Chris deserve our Lamborghinis. You get us. You get us some point. The chat's turning on me as well. So we'll see. Come on. Uh, let, oh, so now we on to the good stuff. I'd say. 76186, the Black Panther and Dragonfly. So, it's basically out of the Black Panther films, it's like this flying machine thing. So, it's going to include Black Panther, Shuri, and Chiatori, is it? For 202 <laughs> parts for $20. So, yeah. yeah. I feel like this, the build will be really weak, but then the set, like the minifigures, will be the bit that, that people buy this for. Oh, yeah. Look in chat. Come on. Oh, Enough said, is. really, isn't it? Mm. Hello, Brookhead. Welcome to the stream. Jesus you get it is one always day. watching, chat. You'll get it one day. Um, hello, Andiv, and hello, Boombricks, as well. I hope you're all doing well. Hello, I'm good. Um, <laughs> uh, hello, Mrs. Brookhead, as well. She's asked for the love, but everyone wants the love. <laughs> <Right, cool. laughs> Our friendship is dying. Both of you to assume we were ever friends in the first place, my heart. <laughs> Oh dear. Uh, Giraffe Guy says that the Black Panther Dragonfly will be fire. Yeah, it will be good. I'm excited to see these. I feel like maybe slightly they're getting overhyped a bit. Like maybe, because I feel like 
people have seen the set names and just gone crazy. But then the sets might be good. I know the minifigs will be good, but who knows? Mm. It's weird that they're bringing out Endgame sets now. I feel like they should do like a legacy for Marvel thing. Like they could do because they're doing. Aren't they doing the Iron Man uh, mech from Iron Man One? Yeah. So apparently, it's like a legacy way, basically. Oh, so you, okay. They're doing sets from past films, which they kind of haven't done before, and then making them into new sets. Like anything Endgame or Infinity War is gonna sell on it. Like it'll just sell. Oh, um, that's cool. Hi, the brilliant brick. Uh, hello, Camden Richards. Hi, guys. New subscriber. Like what I see so far. Thank you for subscribing. Hope I don't disappoint. <laughs> uh, hello, Dean. Uh, hello, Toby Rodrigo. Welcome to the stream. So, yeah, that's a good set. I, I might pick this one up. Might not. We will have to see. This one um, 76189 Captain America and Hydra Fursa. Uh, I think this is a four plus set. So, it's going to be awful. <laughs> we don't have good four plus sets of be recently, so this one is going to be, yeah, I guess it's a huge disappointment. You got 49 parts for 10 euros, two minifigures, and I feel like the minifigures aren't going to be that good, so it's going to be quite a weak set. Any thoughts on four plus sets? I don't mean to bang on about four plus sets, but if you're a four year old, then I you need to stop buying these sets because you're really flooding the market with terrible Ninjago sets, and it's your fault. Any four-year-olds listening, please fix this. I don't. Just don't. Okay? Just stop. Quite frankly, I don't like you. Just stop um, buying these sets. Um, I really like the Dragon Flyer in the film. Yeah, it, if it features in the film and people like it, then it'll sell the sets. Uh, thanks for subbing Carl's XD's Bricks. Um, hello, definitely not Loki. And hello, uh, the chat keeps jumping. Hello to any new people that have joined. Over 100 people watching, so thank you. Please like the stream if you are enjoying. Thank you. But yeah, that's one I feel like. It'll just be kind of one of them sets which kind of gets brushed over with it being a 4 plus set. Yeah, not that good. I will be passing on that. But yeah, this Jewel, one. Okay, Jewel face. <laughs> okay, buddy, I'm going to go and get my knife. <laughs> but I, okay, this is. you. This is a controversial claim really people think megan and harry is the big news topic but this oh, is the no. real thing we should be talking about this is what needs to be talked about okay ninjago is for adults okay intelligent in intellectuals like myself all right it's true it's a fact of life <laughs> yeah um, four four sets of fire i think the printed parts are good but then like other things the figures are sometimes good, the printed parts, but the builds, I get why they're not detailed, but yeah, they're never going to do that well. Um, the Iron Monger Mayhem will be fire. Yeah, it will be. Oh, well, we just got another new person joining the stream, so get ready. Who could it be? It is a brick in it. Hello. I've literally come in because I want my Lamborghini. Oh, is that how you've come in? Come on, Chris. Yeah. Shout how, on did you, how did you even get the link? <laughs> 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 the magic. <laughs> Jesus, I don't know Eric says. <laughs> I was going to ask you, but then I thought, no. <laughs> it's my, my stream now. <laughs> my wife now. How's everyone doing? You all right? Yeah, yeah. I'm good, folks. <laughs> what are you Before thinking of these new sets? So I haven't, I, I literally, I haven't looked at any of it because, yeah, isn't this naughty? <laughs> I don't know. It's promo break, so is it really naughty? I yeah, don't know. promo breaks, I suppose, because they... So the only thing that I've seen is that helmet seems to be like everywhere, the Carnage one. And um, yeah. it seems to be like a Target exclusive. So we're not getting it in the UK. I don't or... know. I'm thinking what they might do is it's a pre-order for like America and then it'll be available here from like 1st of April. It seems kind of the day. Right. Like where it comes everywhere. So it's not bad. Yeah. I... It's a good set. Dude, but look at its pink face. Look at it. Oh, I didn't see the pink on it until now. It's like um it's the inside a of a steak. What what that thing's called a tongue, fun fact. Anatomy. No, it's not a tongue, because look, it's on like the top of his jaw and stuff. Like he's got like a curly maybe the tongue like opens up. You can like open his mouth or something. Oh maybe that's like one of his defining features. Is they all look like stickers as well. Yeah, that's gonna be a pain if they are mm. stickers. <sighs> it's not a good set. Right, I will be back in one set. Just waffle about this set for a minute. We thought that Iron Man had a, a gurning face. <laughs> I think, all right, the only thing that I don't like about this is that it looks like a Power Ranger. 
As somebody who <laughs> like grew up, I don't know when you grew up, like the fifties when Power. I can Rangers say I grew up with Power Rangers. Yes, I did. This is a Power Ranger. I swear. <laughs> I always remember. Um, uh, you used to get cereal and um, you used to have like, um, they used to have these stupid badges that they used to go like Zoid. And uh, yeah, you used to get them in cereal boxes. <laughs> Interesting fact. <laughs> in my, in my day, we just back, in, back in into our day when cereals were on, on into Tesco. No, yeah. I just anyway. have Sainsbury's own Weetabix. <laughs> so. Oh dear. We've just been lost. What is this like? He's when left. Yeah, is this like when BFAB went for a shower or his shower when he went to sleep for his 48 hours? Four hours sleep. It's true. You can't, you can't do see that's 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 the issue. I want I'm calling out BFAB. Actually, no, I'm not gonna I, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> but yeah, like so so I've heard that there's supposed to be a Venom one as well now. We're getting mm. leaked. So there's like is this literally just gonna be the year of helmets? Because it's like I think yeah. there's at least two Star Wars helmets coming out. There's that, there's that Batman one we heard about before as well. Then there's these two. Um, so, yeah, a lot of helmets. I think this is probably the best-looking one that we've seen so far. I don't like the Batman one because, like, I get the cowl that they're going for, but it just mm. looks really weird on the, like, black head. I wonder if you can, like, pull it off the display piece. Though. Oh, yeah. I'd imagine you can, but, like, I don't know. Like, Batman, man. Just... Batman. Who cares? Batman. What should exactly. be the Batman Who cares one? about Batman? Exactly. Why are you saying this like, Batman helmet? I haven't seen that Batman, Batman helmet. Batman. Batman's the best one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is good, right? Let's say hello to some new people in the chat. Uh, welcome, Sebastian, um, Cabbage First, Brandon, Imperial Bricks, Clacker. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're enjoyed. And Davis Films just popped in. So, yeah, it's a good one. I'll buy this. I quite like it. Day one, as always. Day one? Uh, day one buy, as I always buy. <laughs> yeah. Next set, we have 76190, the Iron Man, Iron Monger Mayhem. The sets will be a real bestseller. That's a big claim. This should be good then. So you're getting, in terms of figures, we are getting Pepper Potts, or Baird and Stain, I think it is, and Iron Man in his Mark Three armor. That's I'm this so got like 40 marks. Which one's Mark 3? <laughs> I have no uh, clue what the different marks are. Wait, is it the Mark 3? Um, or well, maybe it's oh. different. I'm not good at Roman. Oh, movies. yeah, yeah. So that's the it's the suit that he wears in the that the other old guy wears in the first Iron Man at the end fight, like you know, the big silver one, the and big mark massive three. one, yeah, the one yeah. where he like kind of like then uses mark his in intellect or whatever, doesn't he? Like uses the um, yeah, the suit that then, he gets from the desert. Yeah, and then Mark Three, I believe, is, is like the first red suit. So it's like the basically just the silver one, but painted. Ah, okay. That's so is that the cool. triangle one? I think that's like the Mark Seven, isn't it, or something? One with a triangle. Yeah, that's in Iron Man Two. It's Very not exciting. bad. So you got four hundred and seventy nine pieces coming out in June for thirty euros. So not a bad price, anything like that. These um, these look pretty decent for Marvel. Usually the Marvel sets aren't that good, but from what we've seen, like what we've heard, these are gonna this is gonna be a good wave for Marvel. Mm. Yeah, people who've seen it have said like this is the golden wave, so it's gonna be the best one in like I mean, it's gonna have the best minutes. of it ever. I think they'll do that next year for the ten year anniversary. That yeah, everything so else cool. has got golden figs. <laughs> Marvel needs it now. <laughs> a golden Thanos, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, this comment. If if it's got a flat head like they did with the Hope Buster uh, last year, <laughs> that would ruin the set completely. Yeah. I hate society. And, <laughs> <laughs> and the, the helmet as well. So I think with Iron Man, you have the old like blocky helmet, which people don't seem to like. So hopefully they get rid of that one with this one. Hmm. But yeah. I've still got, that I've got that. I got that from Argos for like 30 quid last year and I still haven't even got it out of his box. It's down here somewhere. It's just it's a not, a, it's not a great set. There's that, um, someone's done like a remark version with like yellow and red. That looks so much better. I don't know if you've seen that one. Yeah, I've seen that. Way that better nice. version. Uh, hello, Asian Studios. Welcome for joining. But yeah, <laughs> this is a nice one. So yeah, we'll move on to the really good stuff. This one is going to be good. <laughs> 76192 Avengers Endgame Final Battle. 527 pieces, eight minifigures, June 2021 for 90 euros. Count me in. I told you Iron Man had about 500 marks. Look, this is the mark 85. 80. That's his last thing before he died. 
I think imagine, I, imagine, them... I mean, I know that Star Wars is pretty annoying with Farm Boy Luke, but I need to have all different 85 Iron Mans, please, in my collection. <laughs> I don't, I think like most of them were in Iron Man 3, weren't they? Where he just thought, <laughs> yeah, I'm just not going to donate this money to charity to help children. I'm just going to blow them up for my wife because this would look cool. <laughs> like, okay. I, I don't, I haven't even watched Iron Man. I don't think I've watched that many Marvel films. I think I watched Infinity Wars, the one where they all die at the end, yeah. And then spoiler, and end games the one where they all come back. I think they're the only two I've watched. They don't all die, only 50% of them die. Oh, Have you okay. seen that interview with Mark Ruffalo where it was like 2017 or something? And he was like, Wait till you see this next one, how everybody dies, and he just yeah. completely spoiled Infinity War. <laughs> uh, Giraffe Guy says it'll be fire, it will be a really good set. Uh, Jewel first, what's 90 euros in GDP? I'd say probably eighty pound or even probably seventy five pound. I can see this being. But I know the thing we've been getting more recently because technically it's seventy seven pounds currently. But yeah, I reckon it'd be more like maybe eighty five quid or something because we haven't been getting decent deals recently. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. And with this set as well, it's seventy dollars in the US, but ninety euros. Like what? That's like usually it's the other way around, but it's mm. way more in euros this time, which is annoying. Right. Europeans for you, isn't it? <laughs> so in terms of actual details for this set we have the new avengers headquarters which will be a two-story but slightly smaller build there'll be a small gun ant-man's brown van that'll be cool um it contains ant-man as a micro figure captain america iron man mark 85 four with long hair which will be nice oh. scarlet witch black panther a chira to a chiru is that and thanos is a big fig without a helmet with a rotatable head so Thanos is going to look good. It'll be like Egghead kind of thing. Where he just has... Like I really there. want there to be a set that's called Ant-Man's Brown Van. I think that needs to be a set. Like, this, this right set. set 7592 Ant-Man's Brown Van. Done. I'm buying it. You could repurpose that for so many different things. <laughs> that would look great in a Lego city. And you could have like police <laughs> and stuff escorting it. It'd be great. Moving <laughs> swift. Yeah. Uh, hello to Nick Roger, James Dower, and Drake Harmon in the chat. Yeah, it does sound hey guys, good. I feel like with this. Like, uh, go on. Got, like, I was just going to say, like, with that as being a big fig without the helmet, I'm guessing it's going to be like more um, the film style. Because I know, even though they're the fil- they are the films, they often do it as like the comic booky looking Thanos, don't they? Mm. Not the the actual one from the films. So that could be a completely new kind of mold, which would be pretty cool. Yeah. I saw one on Instagram and it was like a mock what it could look like. And it literally just looks like an egg, like the big thing mold and then an egg on the top in purple. <laughs> so You're not selling it to that. me. Well, well, selling. It could be really bad. The only thing I'm concerned about is it's 570, 27 parts, but you're getting a two-story headquarters, a van, and a gun turret. Like, if you divide the pieces up, I don't think it's going to be that detailed for the build. Yeah, it might be true. like that one we had the other year, which had like the you know, like the Avengers HQ or whatever, and it had like a van and a. Wasn't oh, that, that was basically bad. what this is? That wasn't that the yeah. Avengers HQ from Endgame? Yeah, that, that I'm, I'm wondering if this is like literally just like a remake of this. Oh, like, that would be awful with that updated was... figures. I wonder if it's. In my mind, what it's going to be is like similar to the, um, you know, that Spider Man set, like the big open play set with all of the different suits and stuff. I reckon it'll be mm. something like that, but just with like different scenes. So it'll be like where they, uh, yeah, maybe Hulk does the click. Like, yeah, because yeah. they did that with the Iron Man Hall of Armor as well, didn't they? And the Spider Man one's kind of like a take on that. So like this could be mm. a similar, that could be pretty cool. Yeah. Um, Antonio says, do these come out June 1st? Yeah, these first ones are coming out June 1st. I'll tell you when there's a different date for the other sets. Uh, Carl's XD Bricks, MCU Thanos. Yeah, it looks like they're going to do it. Um, well, we're, getting a th- we're getting a gauntlet, aren't we? Yeah, we oh, covered that just before. That's going to be nice Perfect. as a display model. I want it to be big enough that I can wear it, but I don't think that's going to happen, is it? It's no, like... not with 500 pieces. It'd be nice. Like a mini one. It'll be like Yoda's lightsaber, but a gauntlet. <laughs> Wasn't that to scale, or was it smaller? Um, it was like... well, yeah, but Yoda's like is the size of a five pound note, so I don't think it really matters. <laughs> it's very true. Um, Victor says, "Where you're reading this? This is on Promo Bricks. Link is in the description to the full article." Whoop, whoop. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't know what the chat is. Uh, hello, Rogue Runner. Welcome to the stream. James Electron Wright was the true hero of the Endgame final battle. 
Especially the four plus version. He's going get it. <laughs> His favourite set. Chinoxon you know, loves this set. I like how I like how he pretends he doesn't like it, but he went and got that yeah, it, Blake it's having it. it. He secretly loves it. I just like, okay. <laughs> this, if you say this, I don't, like, you cannot defend this. You just can't. There's no redeemable qualities. There just hashtag, isn't. Hashtag generic's favourite set of the year. It is. I believe it is. You got so excited over it when it arrived. Yeah, well, look, look how easily you went to go get that. Where's where's your gardens, mate? I reckon you've sold gardens already, haven't you? Do you want me to, I'm not grabbing, that takes like five <laughs> minutes to get <laughs> down on my... Look, it's there. Oh, okay, it's there. That's, Live that's not real. That's not real. It's a big <laughs> fake news. Uh, fake. Drake Harvard says, "Can Fantasy's head turn as a big thing?" Yes, according to the new rumors, it can. Um, will every stone be in the set? Not too sure yet. I presume so. If they want to make it accurate. Yeah. Um, yeah, the chat's interested. Uh, <laughs> it's better than gardens. That's a bold claim. The electromagnet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start stabbing stuff and uh, if this Let's move on. cease. So yeah, will we will we be buying the set? I think I will. Maybe day one, you know, maybe day one. Will you guys be buying it? I don't, I don't think day one, have you? When is day when is this day one that you keep talking about? Because you've got so many sets to buy, you should start I think saving. He means, when he says day one, I think he's just getting it the wrong way around. He means one day. Oh <laughs> maybe, maybe. one day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, hello, D DZ Studios. Hope you're having a good day. And hello, Pig Vibe. Gina is the best theme. Who knows? Uh, <laughs> Joe Face, uh, Joe Face, day one. One. If the Daily Bugle is coming out first of May, I'll buy that day one. I actually, will. That's cap. Um, That's not true at all. That's <laughs> just. I will. I'm betting. I bet my J's. I'll buy three J's Electromex if you actually buy the Daily Bugle. That's a okay. Deal. You know, we'll do that. That's a fact. I can do that. We'll I'll do that a as a deal. And I'm not um, a liar or a fraud, so I actually will follow up with my promise of buying um, stuff. So yeah, we could do a live stream. Actually, you could build that whilst me and uh, Generic are building our Lambos that you owe us. Oh yeah, what a good idea! One day, day one. <laughs> yeah, one um, day, definitely one day. Uh, what would the price have been this GDP? We just mentioned before, we don't have official, but we said maybe 85, 80, kind of around that mark. Mm. Um, Doctor Dan, move on to the next one. Yeah, we will sorry, do that. Sorry, sorry. Move so, along, yeah, that's nice move one. along. This one, oh, I'm excited for this. Hey, man, again, Another man. one. Oh, it's 150. Oh. 76193, the Benatar. Oh, I'm excited for this. So this is the orange big ship, if none of you are aware. And I missed out on this in the Infinity War web. So to get this as like a big UCS version, I'm excited. Mm. It's good. I have so, yeah. the Milano, the terrible one, the second one. So I'm interested in this one. So he's getting, the drop. From the first one. he's getting his he's getting his UCS Milano. There you go. Oh, that's you have the, that one. That's, that's nice. The, one. the other one, yeah. That's not Ninjago. What are you doing? <laughs> 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 it doesn't own any Ninjago. Um, it does look like an Ninjago. So. Uh, hello, <laughs> uh, to Zen of Lego. Welcome to the stream. And hello, Drake Harmon as well. All 130 people of you watching, if you are enjoying, please are like you? the video and subscribe. Ask if you're new, them. close to 7K. Um, yeah. You don't people. ask them, you tell them. Yeah, you subscribe. Yeah, with, usually with scissors in your hand. You say <laughs> subscribe or else I will cut you. Wait, no. <laughs> or else. Drake 25 says. Hello, and um, uh, Joe Fares, Benetton and Daily Bugle, day one. I'm not that rich, sorry. Maybe you one day. Do you know what's weird? The Benetton didn't sell very well at all. Like, I got it for, mm. I think, £30 in Argos or something stupid. I'm really surprised that they're doing a more expensive, bigger version of it. Yeah. They're selling it with Teenager Groot, though. Oh, I'm mm. sorry. That changes everything. <laughs> you buy it for hundred and fifty pound. What's interesting is that Chitori, or however you say it, he's in both of these sets. Who I think he? it's just like, is it an actual person or is it like an alien kind of? Do you know what I mean? It's like one of the side actors who oh. are just kind of in the background. Is he the guy that was in that ice place where like they resurrected uh, T'Challa? Is that him? It was like a different tribe in Black Panther. I don't know who he is. Maybe. Why are you looking? Details, it is 1,901 parts, $150, so really good value. 
It's a lot bigger than the previous model, more oh. detailed, more handsome. The crown is placed on the set, which includes the black UCS stand, which makes the set extremely attractive. And the set includes Star Lord, Teenage Groot, Rocket Raccoon, four with long hair, which will be nice, Mantis, and Tarati as minifigures, if that's how you pronounce it. The Tauri apparently are the, the minions that follow yeah. Thanos around. So that's why I yeah. think they're including everything because they're almost like army builder characters. Mm. But yeah yeah, yeah. Um, Mantis is awesome i've got a mantis figure uh, the only one that i'm kind of interested in out of the figures is the uh, teenager group because the others are kind of yeah haven't we already had the teenage group though in um you know in the space capsule in, in the infinity war set which goes on yeah. the back of the, yeah yeah it's it's in that set but i don't have that set i've got only got the key ring version of that group so i'd be happy uh, with it. yeah exactly yeah that bit oh, this this is this that's really cool it's sad that it didn't sell very well I like it. Oh no, I'm Yeah, I'm surprised they're doing this. It's like the big set. Obviously, it's not the biggest, but mm. apparently, it's in like 4 4. It's going to be in Guardians 3. So, in the future, it's going to become more like significant. So, I can see why they did it. Um, no Gamora or Drax. I will get onto that in a moment, yeah. but I think they're in the CMF series, which is cool. Oh, it just... good. that's a good show. We need it a makes... new Drax. We need a better Drax. That, so, that would be better if he's in the CMF series. So yeah, version of him. I think that's what they're gonna do. They'll miss out like vital characters in kind mm. of each set, and then they'll throw them in the CMF series. Twelve figures, that'll be good. Mm. Um, Victor says, Benatar, Daily Bugle, and the Endgame Battle Day One. Is that for you or me? Because <laughs> it's getting it's getting expensive. <laughs> um, <laughs> the only thing I know he's bought Day One is from the video. <laughs> <laughs> I did, I bought that. <laughs> the only thing I bought day one is the entire video theme, so that says a lot. <laughs> you messaged Mahan... me, you were like, look at my collection, and it was just every video set. And I, I, I assume that you've just <laughs> pulled a picture from somebody else's channel, but it, you, you own every single video set. I know, I enjoyed building them. They're, they're a bit the same, you thought, yeah. Then we got DJ Llama live on the stream. <laughs> um, I, haven't actually, Mahan... I haven't actually bought any of those figs yet. If you, I know the um the bandmates are hard to get at the moment. So I have heard a rumor that if you buy twelve from Lego, you do get all twelve. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. I haven't. Depends done who you get, because one staff member could do that, and then another could just like just Throw pick it. any old one. Yeah. yeah. Um, Mahan says, I hope they have the bat built onto this set. So apparently, you know the escape pod, which is on the old one, that mm -hmm. kind of broke off, and they never got it back. So they kind of added a tail to the back. So I presume it'll be the tail version oh. instead of instead of the other one. Uh, I suppose it hello, depends Josh. When, like, when it's taking place during the film. Yeah. Yeah. It's got a lot uh, Thor with long hair, so I guess it's at the end of Endgame. Yeah. Where, like they fly off. We wanted fat yeah. Thor. That's what we want. I, I, I hope it's like one of those um, you know those like torso things that go. It's like a neck thing that goes on the front of the torso and like gives them a stomach. I like think that would be jacket. cool. Yeah, that guy. Yeah, and it, um, we need him holding like a PlayStation remote and a Fortnite T-shirt on us, and then be like, oh, oh no. <laughs> Fortnite. Oh. <laughs> please don't. Start. Please don't. I'll leave the stream because I said that. Um, Jordan Colors says, "When do you think we'll get images for these cool sets?" Um, usually, these are coming out in June, so I'd say end of April, right early May. They'll probably do a press reveal because these are like big, important sets. I think at the um, moment, the Lego we're going, we'll get another like 20 decent sets before these because like they're, they're releasing stuff every two weeks at the moment. It's yeah, massive. it so, will do. Because we're going to the um, out in like, two weeks and then. Yeah, next Thursday, actually. Yeah. yeah. And then I'm guessing that Carnage helmet's going to be the two weeks after that. So. Then yeah, we got the Star Wars helmets and the Batman 4 Plus set, the Batman cowl. So that's all to come still. So it's going to be interesting. Um, are, you buying that? are you buying that 4 Plus set generic? Which one? All of them. The Batman one. I, you know, I, I want to. I'm kind of very tempted to get the um Destiny's Bounty one. Yeah, like, that's really forty dollars. <laughs> forty dollars for that set. Content though. <laughs> are, really. are the minifigs worth it? Are the minifigs any good? No, they're uh, <laughs> they're all the ones that like they're just the normal legacy ones that you probably have like fifty of, even right. if you bought two sets. Because, like, I know the Star Wars ones, they always put, like, decent figs in the four plus sets to make you get them. But, like... Mm. They just know nobody's going to buy the Ninjago four plus sets. So they just don't bother. <laughs> Nobody will. Just not um, waste that time. <laughs> Henning says, is the Daily Bugle confirmed or is it still a rumour? 
100% confirmed, should be coming out May the 1st, maybe mid-April for VIPs, but that is not confirmed yet. Oh, that could be good. the mid-April set. Oh. Yeah, it probably will be. It's going to be two, oh. $300, so 260 pounds probably. When are, are we allowed to go out in public by then? Yeah, <laughs> April 12th. Oh, it might just be in time, yeah, to go yeah. and get it. Um, thoughts on the summoning Jargo sets? Um <laughs> The public, the outside world. I just realised I have to go to school, man. <laughs> uh, hey, Solo, welcome to the stream. Hope you enjoyed. Um, then Buddy Brick says you're at six point nine nine k. If you're watching, you're not subscribed. You know what to do. I'll resubscribe to you. <laughs> Click Yay. it three times if you're subscribed. Wait, actually. <laughs> Um, Bendy asks, which would be worth it more, the Carnage or the Batman helmet? Uh, I'd say Carnage, but we Batman. haven't seen good pics of the Batman one yet, so we'll see. We Batman will see. Cool a character. I don't he's know, it don't look low. that he's good. He's just not low, is he, really? He is, though. He's like the coolest emo ever. He just sits in a cave and moans all the time. Have you seen Carnage? Yeah, I've seen he's him. Look scary. at him. Scary. Yeah, but he's Batman is scary, too. What's he going to do? Like Batman's like know. a 30 year old man that's scared of bats, okay? That's scary. <laughs> What's he going to do? Like, not kill me or something? Just like, <laughs> I'm not going to shoot you. I'm just going to really be mean. <laughs> so, Zed Bricks has to go. You got school tomorrow. I'll see you later. Have a good day. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, Rogue Gamer 16 asks, where's the Drax? Um, we don't know yet. Maybe the CMF series, but mm. we're not too sure. I Jill need first. It, Big a good idea. Your <laughs> face is a man after my heart. Yes. <laughs> I love beer. <laughs> you like mouthwash? Oh. It's how I realized it was alcohol free. Doesn't actually have any alcohol. <laughs> I know it's the front of the bottle. I was quite disappointed actually. It's a waste. <laughs> this one seven six two hundred. The sanctuary two. This will contain two hundred and sixty five parts. Three minifigures coming out in August of 2021 for 30 euros. This one is the Battleship of Thanos. So you know in Endgame that Captain Marvel just destroys. It's that one. Mm. Yeah. It comes with Captain Marvel. Um, who else is? Iron Man and Thanos. Oh, minifigure version of Thanos. Yeah, this is this is dumpster stuff. This is. Yeah, I, I was like th that ship is huge. Like it's massive in the film. It sounds like a micro fighter. Yeah, yeah, well, Pro Promo Brooks actually said this is kind of like a Mark Fighter version. Ah, so right. It's going to be so... Thanos will probably euros. sit in it, and then Captain Marvel will have a little thing as well. <laughs> it's not going to be a good set. This <laughs> sounds awful. It does. <laughs> like, if that was, like, 70 euros or something, I'd be like, oh, okay, it'd be decent. It'd be a yeah. decent size. 30 euros with 265 parts. It's going to be awful. Do you reckon a lot of these sets are decided to like just cobble together quickly because like they haven't done many Marvel films this year? Because obviously this one feels like it. Ready like for the new films, but obviously they've had to delay them all. Yeah, it's very true. Yeah, that could be true. Maybe. Um, Seb Chambers, yeah. Um, so your question again. Uh, sorry that I don't answer it. Um, Exotic Butter says, Hope the Endgame Battle isn't a remake. Such a disappointment if it is. I don't think... I think they'll do something. From people who've seen it, they've said that this is going to be good. Uh, Seb asked thoughts on some Ninjago sets, is what he said. Oh, uh, generic, you want to check it away? I think... I mean, not that I've seen images, because I, I, you know, it's disrespectful leaks. I don't, you know, not my thing. Right, but they look pretty good. Let's say, theoretically, <laughs> if I had seen them, I would probably say they looked pretty good. Is that, is that based on the new series, or...? Uh, it's based on my mind. I have. I don't know anything. What did your mind say? Was it the new? My series? mind says that it's the water series. It's season fifteen. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, there's also like the legacy wave is good. One of the sets is good. The other ones are really bad. But yeah, it's a good wave. It's a good wave. <laughs> um, text, text. Page. I'm gonna go to it. I'll just. See the, um, <laughs> Rogue Gamer says, "Do you think the ship will have some bottles for four? Probably not with it being Lego." But um, hey, Chad, welcome to the stream. Hey, Cyber Productions. Um, yeah, the set might not be the best. Uh, Tech Productions, super yeah. chat. Is it, tr is it true you thought the Daily Bulge was... Oh, just... Is it true you thought <laughs> the Daily Bugle was called the Daily Bulge? Don't lie either. Yeah. I've So, about a week ago, I was telling some people, then 
I was saying that for like a whole week, calling it the Daily Vulture. And then Tex said to me, oh, no, it's not actually called that. And I was like, oh. So I embarrassed myself to quite a few people. So, yeah. I like that. They should change it to that. <laughs> you could probably do that if it's not a sticker and they tie it. You could just change the G and the L around on the... on the. Imagine if they did that as like a misprint for like... To like oh. hundred sets, like the first wave of sets that they produced, they just said the daily bulge. Oh, it's embarrassing, but thanks for the five pound tech. I appreciate it. <laughs> five pound less yeah. spam tech. Five pound less. For the uh, theory for the cold fig, um, I think it will be in the CMS series or like a surprise set. I don't know. We don't really fully know yet. Um. There's a daily bulge coming, yeah. Check out my video yesterday for all the info. And you then said it again. Oh, did I actually just say again? Yeah. Right, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just thought there's a daily hmm coming. Are there photos or leaks for any of these sets coming? Not yet, but I'm sure soon. But we don't promote leaks anyway, so it's like yeah. a Freudian slip. He's just got bulges on his mind. <laughs> so six one nine four, the Disney Plus show set. This will be coming in August, based off the Marvel Disney Plus shows. We don't know what it is yet. Rumor has it consists of 369 parts and cost 35 euros. Oh, which show do you think it's based off? Well, based off one of the many Marvel Disney Plus sets. There's only Winter one. Soldier. Well, there's Winter Soldier and One Division. Yeah, uh, it'll be it'll be Winter Soldier, I reckon. Yeah, because that's more action based. I don't know what they would make into a set from One Division that like would sell for kids that like action. There's nothing. Re it's more like psychological, but I think Winter Soldier is going to be more fighting. Yeah, like a playset kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, we don't we don't really know much about that yet. But put in the chat, what do you think it'll be from? And then... if, if it was a one division set, I can imagine they'd do like the truck that they drive into the city up with. You know, mm -hmm. the one that like, um, or, or and potentially, you know, they love their helicopters, so it could be a drone as well added to oh, it. Oh my god. So if you think of a van, a, a drone, and then, you know, some of the minifigs, it could be that. But yeah. I do th I agree with you. I think it'll be Winter Soldier anyway. Yeah, yeah most people are saying that. Well, that finally was going to come out the first before. one that came out, wasn't it? That yeah. was going to be the first one. So with Please Lego yeah. designing uh, sets based off of imagery and stuff, I'm pretty sure it's going to be that. Yeah. Maybe Loki as well. I don't think they'll do it off Loki. They'll probably do one of them early 2022. Do you know what but would be they cool? could do it. A jet from Loki. You know, the plane but. Because I, I got really into looking at, like, is it Cooper, D. Cooper, or whatever, the conspiracist guy who, like, disappeared. And that's what Loki is in the film. Mm. So I think that'd be really cool if the plane was a set. Yeah, you mean um, D.B. Cooper? Yeah, that one. Yeah, that would be cool. Uh, welcome, Mazmio. Welcome to the stream. Uh, I just joined. Any Spider-Man sets coming? I think in a few minutes we should get onto that. Um, imagine in the Daily Bugle, there's a news chopper. Yeah, I think they'll do something like that. Um, <laughs> hello, hello, Gary. Right, we'll move on because there's not much too much on that one. So this one, I'm excited about. Lego Marvel Advent Calendar. So for minifigures, we have Tony Stark with an ugly Christmas sweater. The arc reactor shimmering through his chest is a snowflake, which I like. Includes Spider-Man in a green and yellow college jacket. The other minifigures are Thanos, Black Widow, Thor, Captain Marvel, and Nick Fury, a Quinjet, the Helicarrier, Iron Man's Hall of Armor, the Hulk Buster, the Avengers Tower, and the Dummy are some of the mini builds included. <laughs> oh, what are they going to do? Iron Man's Hall of Armor as a mini build? It's just going to be like seven Maybe. reps done. <laughs> On micro figures, they could do like three of like the low one. Oh, that could be kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah. I, I want the figures. I'll probably get this, to be honest. But nobody buy it. I'm getting it. We need to, is it um, the word what you don't buy it? Day one. One day. I'm going to get day a Christmas. One. Get if a Christmas. this was an Chargo advent calendar, then I could get behind it. But nobody likes Marvel. <laughs> so I don't know why, where they've come out with this. Oh, I'm excited for this. Like I will get this one. an advent calendar for it. Chris. Yeah, true. Ninjago's never had an advent, but all the other things they've are. They've had it for 11 years now, and they're like, nah, it's not worth it. Friends has had an advent calendar. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> You're uh, making it even worse for yourself. <laughs> oh. Hello, Ollie and Brandon. Welcome to the stream. Uh, there's a few questions. Antonio asks, Brickinet, are you buying the Daily Bugle for your city? 
Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna get the daily bulge. Can't wait. <laughs> yeah, the daily. Yeah, I think to be honest, like I'm, I'm quite interested in all these Marvel sets. They are pretty sweet. Um, I, I still need that blooming Avengers Tower, but these just sound so much better than that Avengers Tower from last year. So, yeah, these are way better. Mm. Um, and I love maybe just uh, Guardians one of the stones. Great. Maybe, yeah. Oh, um, I mean for the uh, um the uh, Hall of Armor. I think they may be on about. Um, Gary X pieces. Do you think the minifigure series will be comic based like DCU or MCU best? I think the rumors are going towards MCU best at the moment, so that'll be good. Maybe some comics. of the figures. I think comics would be awesome if they did the comic ones to change it up, but I, yeah, I do think it'll be MCU. I don't know how well the DC ones did because they were based off the comics, but then again, mm. DC like they the DC also it's is DC in it, like yeah, nobody cares. Like it's DC, it's like yeah, everyone just wants even Batman. Batman. Everyone just wanted that Batman figure. That was it. Like that yeah. Batman figure was awesome, and that's all people wanted. But if you yeah, imagine they did, they did the MCU, and it was more like the one division from the comics, uh, and Vision from the comics, and you know, like you get the classic Wolverine and the yellow outfit. I oh, think it would be fair. really, really cool. Cyclops yeah. with the the old like um, the blade thing, the blade mm -hmm. thing. You know, like his visor. That's what it says. Visor. Ooh. Um, yeah, I think I think they could be pretty cool if they did comic versions. I'll tell you what I would love is if they did like Fox and MCU because then they could have the X Men, uh, Deadpool. Oh, Deadpool would be so good. They won't do it, Deadpool. but that'd be so cool. Uh, Maybe this should Deadpool. Just do a Deadpool and uh, a CMF series. It's just like all the characters turned into Deadpool versions. That would be so. Th isn't it Funko Pops did that, didn't they? Yeah, I think it's there's a How the Duck. There's a How the Duck one that was Comic Con exclusive. Uh, Deadpool. Oh. So he's cool. very expensive. Um, um, Toby says that a bicycle advent car, not one piece to make it a day. That, that'd be interesting. Nobody would buy that. Um, Diesel Studios says, Love you, Vince. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Avengers Tower isn't city compatible. Uh, any X Men sets? Don't think mm. so. Do you see any more Simpson sets? Not at the moment. Simpsons. They seem to not want to make any more. Um, uh, tech says comics would be better so many cool classic suits yeah i agree tech. If, if they alternated it like one mcu one comic base or just did one comic base it'd be good i've heard uh, there's going to be 85 minifigures in the cmf marvel but sadly they're all going to be iron man suit one two three four five <laughs> that is I still sell really well though just because it <laughs> is iron man. <laughs> imagine people trying to feel those packs i think i've got iron man mark five just feeling the prints. No, but they'd be in the cardboard ones, wouldn't they? Yeah, that's true. It wouldn't matter anyway anymore. <laughs> I don't think they are cardboard going forward because oh, if no, you look at the on that wholesalers, they have like how many packs are in a box for a certain set, mm -hmm. and the minifigures are still thirty six. So unless they made the boxes really big, it seems like they're still sticking with it. Yeah, which I, is I good. agree. I don't think they're going to be going for a cardboard. I think that was just a thing to get video to sell a bit because it was different. Are you on about 36 for Marvel now? Or yeah, uh, well Looney Tunes is 36 per box. It could which be 18 is a... characters. No, I mean for the boxes it's 36. They'll be in yeah. packs rather than Looney Tunes so is 12 figures now. Oh you... yeah, is that hundred percent confirmed? 12 figures. Yeah, in the um in the catalogue it shows 12. Not that I've seen it, but yeah. <laughs> it shows it shows 12. <laughs> um, would you love seeing modular MCU set? Well, the Daily Bugle is going to be pretty much that, so mm. that'll be interesting. Yeah. Um, I like, I got? There was that Go set on. where it was like the um, New York City Doctor Strange set. Yeah, uh, like... Peter Parker's apartment and the Sanctum yeah. Sanctorum. That was really cool. I wanted that set. I don't know why I didn't get that set. I, I held it in my hands. And I just... <laughs> <laughs> you like go. Um Giraffe Guy says MCU will be so much better. No, I pressed the wrong comment, but yeah, it will be. Um Slight Delta says you want a new Iron Man helmet. I think they could do one of the helmet versions in 2022. I think they could do that. Oh, people call me a video sim. Okay. That's a good for you. I have a um, question. Go Is on. the video gonna be Space Jam 2 related? Oh not video, Looney Tunes. Is it yeah. gonna be is it going to be Space Jam 2? I think so, like from what I've that. heard. Yeah, so it is confirmed Looney Tunes because we've seen like one of the figures. Not, No, we haven't, but we have. Um, oh. One of the Looney Tunes figures. So, yeah, I think it's Space Jam 2 and, yeah. That's really cool. Oh, a Spider-Man CMF series, yeah, that'd be... If they did one from each Marvel film, that'd sell well. Mm. 
Or they could do a Spider Verse where it'd be from each different universe. I, I'm yeah. I'll, I'll be honest. Like with the um, No Way Home, I think it's been overhyped by fake leaks. Like the movie, I think I, I don't know how true it is that like all the other actors from different Spider Man films are going to be in it. I think it's going to be a disappointing film. Just saying. <laughs> I've not really seen much on it to be honest. I have no clue. I don't think Brickwick yeah. knew that there were any more Spider-Man movies before the new one anyway. So I don't no, think... I've basically learned all of the Marvel knowledge from the set. So, like, Do you know Ninjago yeah. yet? Because that's the only real important thing you'll ever learn. Yeah, I'm on Prime Empire now, mate. Already? What did yeah. you think of season 11? Uh, I, well, I found it really... What was weird with season 11, we're going on uh, Ninjago now, is that um, I didn't realise that only half the series is on Netflix, and then I had to get the other half on YouTube. Yeah. It's really weird, the ice section. But I thought it was kind of cool. I liked the twist. The twist was pretty sick. I didn't even mm. figure out who the ice king kind of was. But I thought it was pretty decent. I liked it. It was good. What did you think of the animation style change? <sighs> to be honest, if you hadn't have said, this is maybe because I'm old, but I would have even noticed. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I know what it, it's slightly toonier, but... I just prefer... I don't like the episodes being 10 minutes long. I preferred them as 20. Mm. I feel like that some of the episodes are a bit fillery. Like, oh yeah, hundred percent. Like, like the um, anime one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so bad. I mean, I'm halfway through Prime Empire. I'm at the bit where they like they're just getting ready for the race now. They've got mm. like the fork. But is season thirteen on Netflix or not? Yeah, yeah. it is. It's it's bunched in with Prime Empire though. You, like Sweet. they're all just in the same season. Sweet. Yeah, but I'm gonna I'm gonna be I'm gonna be ready. I'm ready for this next wave of Ninjago sets now, man. I'm gonna get them all. Mm. Collect them all. Even though I've got Boo, no ninja. Ninja. Boo. Have you got Monkey all the golden better. ninjas now, by the way? The what? Have you got all the golden ninjas now? No. Um I only have three. I need to I do need to buy the other ones, but I've only got uh, Woo still at the moment. Yeah. Well, they're going to sell pretty quick. Sale. Yeah. Well, no, they won't because everybody will buy them, <laughs> but you know, True. if they do go on sale, then I'll buy them. Um Welcome to the stream. If you are enjoying the stream, please like it. But yeah, we got the last few now. Spider-Man, No Way Home sets. So yeah. Uh, yeah hello, I'm not... Oh, oh. Lover of nothing, not bagels, not cream cheese. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> so these, we don't have too much info, really, because these are coming out in October. So we just have basically three price points. So a 30 euro set and two, two 20 euros. One of them is a four plus set, I believe. So I think this one, 76184, uh, will contain 73 parts. And it will contain Spider-Man and Mysterio. And to be honest, I think that's all we really know for these. Not too much more. Just want to answer, yeah. Massimo Patreon said, what do you guys think of the Carnage head? I uh, think Lego should have made Venom. I think they are making it as well from the hints that we've... So yeah. I think there's Venom. Venom. Yeah, Venom's coming in May, so it yeah. looks good. So get ready for it. Um, hello, Ollie's Bricks. Welcome. So yeah, what are you kind of hoping for from these sets? Because we don't have loads of detail. <laughs> What are they, Spider Man? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm hoping that it won't come with his house because he's not at home, so that's going to be one of them. What's um, the movie called? <laughs> oh, nowhere home. Okay. I don't know what you expect me to say. You know I don't know. It only just like Spider Man. 19 euros. I really want <laughs> one to be Toby Maguire walking down the street where he's like this. Mm -hmm. Is that the best meme ever? Do you know what would like a set that I think would be awesome is if they had like you know the minifigure packs, like a 15 or a 12 pound minifigure pack with all of the three Spider Mans in it. <laughs> that would that I'd be happy with life, like I'd be <laughs> so content. Um, so guys, it guys, it'll be a San Diego Comic Con exclusive. I'm That's going, to yeah, America it will be. Now. Yeah. You're going to get it. Uh, Granny says, how much would a LEGO 20th anniversary set sell for? I'd say about £10 for the figure on their own. Uh, I hope the 4 plus set is a Spider-Man mech as beautiful as the Cheers Electro mech. That would be interesting. One of them could be a Spider-Man mech. Oh, we've already had a Spider-Man mech, though, haven't we? Well, one yeah. of them's been a 4 plus set, so it could be. It could be something like that. Um, have you heard about the Mickey Mouse sets come in and they'll be 4 plus? Yeah, they will be 4 plus. Mm -hmm. Heard, heard they're gonna be pretty good for the minifigures. That's all I was saying. Yeah, I'm gonna get it just for the minifigures alone, to be honest. Yeah, so I think oh. that is pretty much it. We have the Eternal sets, these are not coming. That Dorito one, that is, I like that, this that one. is wicked. Yeah, I think this looks cool. Mm. So these are coming in October now of 2021, so quite a while now, which is annoying. So yeah, we've got to wait a long time. Now, this looks um, like a 
robots thing anyway. Like you could probably make that. It's fine. It does. It's like, like a jewelry box. It's yeah, like a dirty like dot. <laughs> um, prints though. Hopefully they're prints. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It, they kind of look like it. They could be. I might buy this one day one. You know. <laughs> uh, is there another armory coming? Uh, I don't think so. I think they've kind of done with that now. Um, are they going to make? Um, I don't know what that is. Sorry. A manga. Um, <laughs> talk about the Daily Bugle. Um, basically, what we know is that it's the oh. Daily Bugle. That's the official set there. Um, May oh. 2021, three hundred dollars. Venom is included. That's all I know, to be honest. Um, yeah. <laughs> Hello, seen- Daniel. Have Plant Milk Studios. What's your hype for Next Step Season 8? I completely forgot about the Next Step. <laughs> I'm waiting for it. I know they haven't commissioned it yet, which is annoying, but it could be under wraps, so we'll have to see. I'm pretty sure it's cancelled. Oh, Five so. or Bricks calling me straight out. Brick click, you never buy anything, dead one. Winnie the Pooh, actually. On. One day. Yeah. One day. That's what it is. One, one day. I'll be getting Winnie the Pooh on Thursday. I'm excited for that one. Yeah, but yeah. Thursday. Yeah. It's not for me though, it's for someone else. I'm so still waiting. I'm not really bad. I'm still it. waiting for my flower fruit mountain that I ordered. So Oh, did you, you order know, that? that my Chase Electromech came like literally next day. I don't know I how that happened. It's I mad didn't pay sets I don't mad. care about and they come straight away. The sets I that really want to build. I wanted to get I still got my video out like two weeks after everybody else's video on it, but you know, I just wanted to get it quick. But no one else is stabbing boxes and that was what that was where I I said YouTube don't demonetize my video and I, I pulled a knife up to the camera and they didn't they didn't turn off comments or anything it's great <laughs> wow oh dear oh dear is it true that they can monetize you because they think you're a child in the videos or is the thing true? is this is the thing when i did i did like a q a and like you know the um like timestamp thing mm. where you can do that i i sometimes i'll put things in like ninjago is made for kids it's like something that i'll talk about or like use the word kid or child and i did that for like two videos they turned off comments. So my big brain <laughs> idea, I changed the word kid and child to gun and drugs. And they didn't think that video was made for kids then because they thought, well, guns You just off. demonetize it. That is so weird. It is weird. And like, but the, in like the start of the video, I held a knife up. Like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Do they want me to like <laughs> shoot someone? That's oh, so dear. Uh, Daniel says, are there any leaked images about Tenex summer 2021? There's basically a wave in August and a wave in October. If you just search it in, I did a video on it a few months ago, but they sound good. But yeah, I think that is pretty much it for the info today. We got like the minifigures and stuff. I'm looking forward to the uh, Endgame battle, the Infinity Gauntlet. I've kind of forgot the rest. Um, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think we're getting them all day one. <laughs> I know, but uh, it's you know, all going on. You're not know, putting them in your calendar, what are you getting? I will do. Yeah. It's already filled up with video sets. Um, do you think we'll get the Batman? <laughs> get the brick oh, yeah, brick- yeah. Uh, well, any questions you want at the end of stream, just fire them in now, and we'll quickly answer them before we end. And like the video as well. Subscribe. Yeah, all that stuff. Uh, do you think we'll get the Batman 2022 Lego sets for the movie? Yes, there is three sets. I think scheduled. I'm not 100 percent sure, but yeah. Um, Jewel first with the lovely comments. Um, True. <laughs> is there going to be a big chungus in the Looney Tune series? I'd love them to. I'm not too sure yet, but we can only we can only. Isn't hope. that that's a really dead meme, isn't it? Ah, oh, it's funny. <laughs> Reddit uh, moment. Five of first bricks. I'm going to get the Benatar and the Infinity Gauntlet. Yeah, mm. good choices. Draft guy, favorite side of the wave. Um, I'd say the Endgame battle. We haven't even seen images of them. Yeah. Day one. Day one. No, you can Day just one. tell. Them. You know, from a set, is it day one? Um, Anna says, don't want the stream to end. Maybe we'll do this more in the future with like new themes. I thought rather than doing just another video today, talking about all the info, I thought do a stream, like talk to you guys about them and it's worked well. So we'll probably do some more in the future. Uh, Louis says, one of them is the Batmobile. Yeah, it is. Um, Final battle is 65 pound. Yeah, they've done something weird with the pricing. Uh, Hello, Salty Seal. Thanks for joining at the end. Hello, Coco Waffles. Jewel first says, I know what they look like. Uh, I don't think I do. Um, yeah. Fire First Brooks says, you wait for double VIP and not day one. It's common sense. Yeah. Depends on how much you want them. But yeah. Uh, we seem to have a gangster on the stream now as well. Hmm. Uh, so with the podcast, people keep asking. I just want to quickly explain it. Chris costs too much money to be on the podcast. The budget, yeah. we can't afford him. <laughs> 
his demands are extreme. It's sorry. I can. What is that? And then no one notices. <laughs> Run at the screen at the end. We get him on, and then he does this. Honestly, honestly. Um, let's. Do you think Lego will make a new call for the 2022 Batman sets? Uh, probably not with him doing the one last year. Uh, do you think we'll get any more $10 mech sets? Yeah, but probably not on January 2021. Um, a giant helicopter for Thanos, that would be good. Uh, <laughs> thanks for the info, can't wait, glad you enjoyed. Uh, hello Spider Productions, hello Bandit Bricks, um, Imperial Bricks is saying nice shades. Um, Han, Benita and Endgame Battle are the ones I'm going to pick up, then I'll probably buy the Infinity Gauntlet if I have extra cash. Yeah, that is a good choice. Um, hello, Jacob Bricks a lot. Uh, hello, everyone. You've so, yeah. ruined cookies for me. <laughs> oh. do, you, do you think Lego will make Indiana Jones after a couple of movies? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Oh, my God. I don't know <laughs> what it's good. What know. if you ate a cookie and then the cookie ate you back? Maybe what are you will. Doing? maybe that's what happens. Maybe that's life. I don't know why it's going on, guys. There's, there's something philosophical in that. Maybe sentence. that's meta. Yeah. Uh, tech. I said that I didn't like building shrooms. Not these kind of shrooms, all right. Um, yeah. Thanks for info about Batman. No problem. But yeah, I think we'll end the stream here, guys. So thank you for watching. If you haven't already, like the stream. Um, earlier today, I did a video about the Carnage helmet and kind of the Daily Bugle set. All that stuff is out. If you want to go watch that. I'd appreciate it. Um, check out these guys in the description. Check out Promo Bricks' article in the description. And remember, guys, keep clicking. I'm breaking. We'll see you all later, guys. Bye bye. Bye. Subscribe now. Please do it to him. Yeah, how do I end it? Sub uh, this plug yourself, Chris. <laughs> Subscribe. Subscribe to me. And to me. Or me. Brick Clicker. He me. does. Oh, it's that. Yeah, him don't as well. subscribe to him. Don't don't do it. This don't. guy. No.